الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد على هم إني أعود بك نعوش بك بك وأنا أعلم وصافرك لما العلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله a question was asked from one of our brothers he said you have basically just said the bid'ah principle take the good from them and leave the bad so he's basically saying that I made uh, some statement which is similar to the statement of Akhwana Muslimin and he said uh, if, if the Shaykh has said something ext some extreme stuff or to me you should still listen to him and write him off uh, the brother wasn't clear Akhi you should stop answering about what's going on in the West in terms of Dawah Dawah Salafia <clears throat> since you don't know about it that much Medina.com, Brixton, Masjid, Luton, R. Hizbis just as Ibrahim Marahali. And I'm not the one who spoke about them, but it's the scholars. So stop confusing brothers about these issues and refer them to the scholars who know and spoke about these matters, such as Medina.com, Luton, Britain Masjid, uh, Brixton, I think he meant, and Ibrahim Marahali. But don't go to a Salafi scholar who doesn't know their affairs or hasn't spoke about them and the claim the Sheikh said they are, and the claim the Sheikh said, the brother made a lot of mistakes, but I think it's understood what the brother means. And I responded to the brother, I said, may Allah reward you for your love of the deen, and forgive us and you for any mistakes we make. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Kul ibn Adam khata wa khata All the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those who sin or make mistakes are those who make repentance. The only reason I'm addressing this, and I'm going to be as quick as possible because I have to get to the masjid, and I don't have time to spend with these issues and I, I'm busy teaching, I'm busy learning, I'm working on my own research and things. So I'm going to do this as sharp as I can and quick as I can and I'm not going to be able to give this subject the hop. It really requires a book and we could really compile some beautiful uh, statements from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the uh, Athar of the Salaf of this Ummah and the contemporary Salafi scholars from Ahl Sunnah Tiwal Jama'ah. So I said to my brother, I said, uh, I think you have mistakenly understood what I said and what I meant. As with many of my talks, I distinguish between how we deal with Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah. As our ulama mentioned, that there's different ahkam, different rulings, and this is not the time and the place, but in general. Ahl Sunnah, when they differ between each other, which they have differed since the time of the Sahaba, majma'in, have had differences on Masail al Fiqh. The Sahaba, majma'in, had different ijtihadat and they refuted one another but they did not make tibdi or takfir of one another that's the difference and tafsiq they didn't do this that's the difference between you and I in, the, in this time and age is there so much tafsiq, tibdi with takfir without the ilm, without the hujjah, without the dalil to do so, the evidence without the qudra, without the ability to do so and many, many other messiah that are, are pertinent to this. So it's very important to speak with ilm. Very important to speak with ilm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Had to barhanakum in kuntum sadiqin. Bring your dalil if you are truthful. Okay. So Ahl Sunnah, they differ in, differentiate. And basically, between Ahl Sunnah, if there's issues, uh, whether it's an aqidah that some mash mash a, a shaykh is mistaken in, or said a statement, or what have you, they have to bring dalil. Okay? For whatever we say, we bring the deal. And when you're refuting someone, you need to bring the deal. It can't be based on your desires and ho'a, and we know this. And the way Ahl Sunnah deals with one another is with respect and mercy. And we're going to bring some kalam of one of our senior scholars of this time who's known for refuting Ahl Bidah, some beautiful statement, a beautiful statement of his. And we'll try to be quick, and forgive me for being too quick. Okay, so there's a difference. And with Ahl Bidah, when they differ, we la karam al as Sheikh Obeid uh, Ajabri, one of our mashayikh, he says, no karam al -hum. So, for example, in this time, when I talk about Yasser Qadi, la karam al -hum. I don't really have a, a, a feeling, oh gosh, I, you know, was I being too rough with Yasser? No, because the guy knows. He studied with ulama, kathir, from Ahl Sunnah. He studied from Jamiat and, and did his master's way more scholarship than many students of knowledge very strong in his background. He knows, but he chose and all the uh, things that affected him in his dawah and to make him what he's upon now. And this is not the time nor place to get into that. 
Uh, so Ahl Sunnah, they differ with how they deal with Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah. And there's many principles. As far as your claim about my not knowing the Tao of the West, you're probably correct because I have operated like a person with their head in the sand. That only I have busied with myself the, probably the past 15 years. I haven't really went to any of those website, West Salafi websites in, in English to find out because I found that there was a lot of fitna even back then, unfortunately, between some of the brothers who I knew from different camps, these came from the Damaj, these ones came from uh, Jamal Islamiyah, these came from I don't know where, and they're you know, refuting and attacking each other, and their usul was the same. So I got discouraged by that, and it just made me really focus on the Arabic language, focus more on sitting with the ulama, especially when I got more Arabic. When I came to Saudi, that's all I did. I didn't have time, and still don't really have time, unfortunately, and maybe it's good. There's good and bad in that. Uh, so. Uh, I just want to get to, because I don't have a lot of time, let's go to this beautiful statement. This is a statement of Shaykh Rabi, Prophet Allah Ta'ala, about uh, the fitna that's between Ahl Sunnah. So we're going to we'll put this in the context. He said, وَأَنَا أَقُولْ لَهَا مَنْ قَبْلَ الْيَوْمْ لَكِنْ رَقِزْتُ عَلَيْهَا لَمَا رَأَيْتُ هَذَا الدَّمَارِ وَرَأَيْتُ هَذَا بَلَا أَقُولْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِرِفْقِ وعليكم باللين وعليكم بتعاخي عليكم بتراهم هذه شدة توجه إلى أهل السنة أنفسهم إذ ترق إذ تركوا أهل البدعة واتجهوا إلى أهل السنة هذه شدة مهلكة and then he has other statements here so شيخ ربي حفظ الله تعالى he said and he he said I have said this before this time he says but I have uh, really concentrated <coughs> since I have uh, seen this destruction. He just, he's decided destruction. And wallahi, if you knew what some of the things we've seen since I've lived in Saudi Arabia, in Medina, and others with the difference between Mashaykh of Ahl Sunnah with the same usul, same etiqad, same everything, just sometimes because one Sheikh doesn't make tabdi of another Sheikh, they, uh, this is, this is uh, Damar as Sheikh Arabi mentions. The destruction of the Tao, because uh, the Hizbis are laughing at you. And he said, and I've seen this fitna, this empty hand, this bella, this this uh, madness, this foolishness, this this problem. He said, and I say, upon you is rifq, upon you is gentleness, why they can be lean, and is um, uh, lean is uh, like gentleness and, and kindness, and they can be ta'ahi, and, be, and, and it's upon you to be brothers, and it can be tarahim, and it's upon you to be merciful with one another. And he says, this shedda that we see between Ahl Sunnah themselves, and they leave, and, and leaving Ahl Bid'ah, and, and, and focusing this upon Ahl Sunnah, then this is a major type of destruction. That's what Shaykh Rabi said. Shaykh Ubaid mentions, and I, I don't have time to translate. He said, وَهَكَذَا أَهْلَ السُنَّةِ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَمْضُرُونَ إِلَى مُخَالِفِ وَإِلَى مُخَالِفِ فَالْمُخَالِفَ لَا تَخْلُوا مِنْ حَالَيْنِ He said, مُخَالِفِ, when people have mistakes, they don't uh, depart from these two ways. First, he mentions, he mentions, mentions in his book, Shara Sun, uh, in his explanation of Shara Sunnah, uh, in the tapes especially, I remember, and uh, many other, in any of his books. And he mentioned that these two times, in general, because really we, I want to give it the haq, but I can't. Basically, that if it's from Ahl Sunnah, that a mistake made in Ahl Sunnah, we refute the, the mistake and we give respect to the person who uh, maintained the status of the Sheikh. If it's from Ahl Bidah, then there's no, we don't care about the status of that individual and we refute them in their khata. Okay? This is in a, in a nutshell. And there are some beautiful, beautiful statements that I, I, I need to read. And it's the only way I can give this the haq, and I've lost them, uh, to give this some uh, haq. But anyone who knows about the sul and has studied with uh, the ulama, and this was some beautiful kalam of Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Muhammad, uh, uh, Muhammad Bazmul. And he was mentioning, uh, one of the, sta the statements he mentioned, uh, was about 
Nay, nay, the law. I've forgotten. Uh, but I, I'm going to end because I don't have time and I do need to go. But I do want to say that if we stick to the ulama of Ahl Sunnah and we learn how to make our how to deal with our differences and we beware of just making taqlid and this comes with ilm the more knowledge you get the less you're confined and restricted by taqlid you don't have to say oh bin of said that that's that's it that's the only call no maybe bin baz differed slightly in his statement maybe bin baz differed in that issue. Maybe Sheikh Mughal said something else. You have the ability to analyze what those Mashaykh said and then you can make an educated choice. But the one who's confined to taqlid and confined to translation especially, then they're confined to what those translators put out to them and they're confined if those translators only translate from two Mashaykh, three Mashaykh, four, five, whatever the case may be, then you're confined to those three, four, and five Mashaykh and that's it. And then you say statements like, this is why I don't say, I only say statements of the scholars if I know many scholars of Ahl Sunnah hold this. But if it's one or two mashayikh, I'm not going to say the scholars said, meaning that all the scholars or a huge amount or some amount, because it may be two scholars from Ahl Sunnah who differ with many others on a particular issue. And this is the thing with the Sheikh Ibrahim Arhali thing. And I, I is, and that's why I don't want to delve into it, but I'll just say this again for those people. Criticize me, I don't care. Whatever you say, I really don't care. Whoever listens to me, I really don't care. The main thing is, I want to spread khair while I'm alive. While I'm still alive, as I'm getting older, I want to spread something good. And I spent a lot of years collecting books, learning something from these books, sitting with different mashayikh. That, for sure, I've sat with many, many mashayikh. And that's a fadl min Allah. That doesn't mean I have ilm. And it doesn't mean I benefited tremendously from all those mashayikh. I, I definitely don't say that. I say I benefited me personally because I learned a lot about my religion. I didn't know. But what, what, what I'll say is do not is is knowledge will free you from some of this masiba and with the issue of Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili I bought everything I could find on the market as I said before everything any book I could get I've listened to countless recordings but I have mashallah books and I have the books that he wrote as refutations and I've listened to how many mashayikh if you have a problem with me then the makes you must have a problem with uh, Sheikh Salim Suhaimi an alam and if you have a problem with him, then I mean you don't need to talk, really. I mean, you know, that's your goal, that's your opinion, but it's not based on ilm of fiqh with dalil, ahkam ahl sunnah, wa kayf, yani, you amal amal makhalif, then I don't, I don't really want to hear it. And if you have a problem with Sheikh Salim al Rahili, who doesn't make tabdi of him, and do you have a problem with Sheikh Abdul Masim, but you have a problem with me, who am I? I'm no one. My goal is built upon their aqwal and also what I've learned over the years and seen and listened to from Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili himself and I saw that some of the things brought to the Mashaykh were not true. The things brought to the Mashaykh, I didn't say the Mashaykh lied, but I say what some of these younger guys who come up, some of them are big students, some of them are whatever and now they're doctors and they and they and people consider them Mashaykh and maybe they're Mashaykh, I don't know. but. I see. I bought every book. I have. I could go if if I had ten minutes. I could go and probably get four or five books refuting Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili. At least, at least I've got books on me. I buy all those books because I want to know and I want to understand the arguments, and that's just something I enjoy doing. A shahid habitifillah. I'm doing this based on the limited knowledge that I have, and if you have a problem with my statement, then why don't you? refute Sheikh Suleiman al-Haili if you, if you have the ability to. Because he doesn't make tabdiyah of Sheikh Ibrahim. And how many others? Countless, countless. We don't even have to go Sheikh Falah Ismail, Sheikh Salam Tawil, Sheikh, uh, if, if you consider them a shaykh, because you might have made tabdiyah of him. And that's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But me, what I'm going to spread to the people is da'wah. Kama qala Sheikhana Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi, da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah, da'wah to دَعْوَةٌ مِنْ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ إِلَى كِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَمِنْ سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ إِلَى سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ وَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was definitely from myself and the shaitan. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيَ الْحَمْدِ